Howdy. This video has a twofold objective. First, I would like to thank the excellent job that my friend Jason from Hawaii has made to solve the problem of the barrel of the Humorex called Single Action Army Replica. Secondly, I want to show you the bad quality of the Humorex barrels, at least of those that they put in their cold Peacemaker Art Guns replicas. In less than 1500 BBs shot, three barrels have ended banned and utility ruined. As a result, a dealer has changed the whole revolver and the official Humorex repair service has changed a barrel. That second barrel lasted less than 300 shots. Jason made a new barrel for the Humorex called Peacemaker, using the barrel of Daisy 880 BB pellet carving. As far as I know, he can do three cold barrels out of one Daisy barrel. Those barrels are rifled so they can shot pellets. That way, the Humorex called Peacemaker will be able to shot pellets as well. By the way, this revolver is the original antique finish that you will see on this video. But after polishing it, do you like it? I think that now it looks old instead of ugly. Let's see how all this went. This is my first Humorex called single action replica. In less than 1500 shots, the barrel of this air gun got stuck. The symptoms were that the air gun had lost all the power and was unable to shot any BB, and the barrel turned free each time you cooked the hammer. The dealer sent me a brand new one, with for the seller. Up to now, this new air gun is working properly. I had the chrome plated and the blue finished models and I needed a trick finish to complete my collection. So I bought it. In less than 1500 shots, the symptoms of my original blood appeared in the new trick. It had lost all his power and the barrel got stuck. Look at this, you can see the marks that have made the BBs that have gone out off-centered. And what I found was a barrel absolutely bent and even hollow. You can notice how thin this barrel is. Who can put something like this in a gun that will shoot steel balls? Well, I sent it to the official Humorex service through my dealer and they returned the revolver with a new barrel inside. By the way, what you are seeing right now on your screen is the actual and trick finish. But, as you already know, I've polished this revolver and now it looks a lot better. The new barrel the one replaced by the official service lasted less than 300 shots. Again, I noticed the well-known bad symptoms and when I opened it, I found a bent barrel again. Luckily, at that moment, I already had the barrel that my friend Jason had built and sent to me. 
So I changed the thin Umorex barrel for the thick Daisy Rippled one. Compare here the difference between the bad quality Humorex barrel and the thick and robust one of the Daisy Carbine adapted by Jason. As Jason recommended me, it would be a very good idea to grease the barrel to avoid future rust. After putting all the pieces in place again, it looked that my revolver was working fine again. Take a look at this. Before testing the accuracy of my new barrel, I polished my antique finished revolver. My goal was to get the oldest finishing. Here. I had already made the first polishing, and that was the moment to do the last one. To do that, I used the Chemical Guys Heavy Metal Polish, which works smooth and fast. By the way, it would have been a lot better to wear latex gloves, and it? Well, that's the moment to test my new barrel. First thing, I'm loading the shields with pellets. The ones I prefer are the HNN Spitzkugel of 8.64 grains.
It's very important to push the pellet beyond the silicon top of the shield, otherwise the pellet will get stuck. Okay, let's load the gun and try some shots. The target is located at 36 feet, about 11 meters. Not bad at all. Jason, you have done an excellent job. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. And that's all. Only let me offer you a close-up of the polished revolver compared with its original finishing.